Hello, dear friends. I'm out here at the bus stop on a beautiful day, and I haven't been out here in so long. It's wonderful to be back out here. Just a small town, little bus that comes through, and so many times I've just come out here and sat and waited on the Lord, you know, listened for Him, and that's what I wanted to just give a little reminder for today. Um... Ecclesiastes 5.1 says, As you enter the house of God, go near to listen rather than offer the sacrifice of fools that don't even know what they're doing. Um, that is something that if anybody is not doing already, that I would urge you to begin to practice. And that is just to get yourself alone, spending time with the Lord. Um, I had somebody ask me that one time. She said, what do you mean when you say you're spending time with the Lord? Well, and I just explained, I just mean I get alone and I sit and I listen for him. You know, I may pour out, uh, pour out my heart, pour out my troubles, my cares, my concerns, everything. But then we must listen, wait in expectation to hear from him, you know. And when I first started doing this, it was just an urging of the Lord. It's just something that came upon me to do. The greatest changes that have occurred in my life, the greatest lessons that I've learned, and the things that I share have not been taught to me by men, but it have I have learned them by being alone with the Lord and waiting and listening for Him. For He teaches us. He speaks with us. He guides us. He directs our decisions and our thoughts. And He's constantly doing this. We just sometimes fail to recognize Him. You know, we're maybe not too familiar with His voice. So when I first, this is for anybody that doesn't do this currently. I just pray the Lord it would help you and that you could take it serious because it is life. It is truth. You know, um, I'm not sharing these things to be popular. I'm sharing them because they have changed my life. And getting to know him is true life. John said, this is eternal life. To know him. And that is what happens when we spend time with him. But I would either go in a room of my house where it wasn't occupied. Or I'd get in my car. That's why I'm in my car a lot. I'd go out to the park, wherever. And get alone to be silent and just wait on the Lord. And that was very awkward at first. I did not know what I was doing. I didn't know what to expect. I hardly knew him at all. You know, it's, this was the time where I had just said, you know what? I'm at my wit's end. I need to know if you're real. Do you care about every detail of my life? Am I important to you? What is this all about? Can I come to know you for real and I want to know you not by what everybody else has told me you know not even what I think or who I think you are I want you to teach me I want you to tell me I want you to prove yourself real to me because at that time he wasn't real to me and just getting alone and sitting in silence. First of all, I had to ask him. I said, can you please stop all these thoughts that are raging on in my mind? From uh, my to-do list to things that happened to maybe anger and hurt I was having. Uh, you know, relationship problems, whatever. All these thoughts and to-do list and stuff was raging on my mind. To where I couldn't even get silent and be still to know he's God and hear. I had to ask for help, you know, and it took practice. It took time 
day after day, just doing that, setting time aside to go and be alone and listen for him. And the reward is great because he is real and he does speak to us. And he is all wise and all knowing. He does know the plans he has prepared for us. He does know us fully, our past, our future, and what situations we're in right now. And he wants us to get to know him intimately and personally, not through what we've heard or been told, you know. And so I would encourage anybody to do that that's not already doing it. You know, just get alone with them and just tell them, Lord, I don't even really know what I'm doing, but I'm just coming and hoping and expecting to hear from you today. Whatever you want to say, whatever you know is most important for me right now. I may think it's about these bills or about my relationship with my spouse or about all this going on in the world, but Lord, you have something to speak for me today and teach me and show me. Maybe about the way, you know, I think. Maybe about my own heart. Something you want to correct in me. I just come and ask you to help me to do this. You know, please open, circumcise my ears my hearing, that I may hear you, Lord. Please grant me this. For I desire get, to get to know you more and become familiar with your voice, you know? And he answers, and he will, you know? I encourage anybody to jot it down, whatever thought comes to your mind. He may bring something up to you, that you need to discuss with him. Something that happened. Maybe he shows you were, you were in the wrong about something. Just confess it to him. I'm sorry, Lord. Please help me. Please change this about me. Please show me how to deal with people better. Whatever. And it may be that an awareness of his presence comes. You know, a gift that I am here with you. It's a great knowing. A surety and a confidence that he really is here. And he really is listening. Y'all that will bless you beyond any amount of money in this world. Any love from another person is his presence. Assuring you that he's there. He hears. He cares. And he's paying attention to you. We must you know, begin to pay more attention to him and listen. First Samuel 3.10, was it Eli? He said, speak, Lord, for your servants listening. We must draw near to listen. He may bring a scripture to your mind that you've read before. Go and look that up. You may not get understanding on it right away. But wait, as days go on, he's going to bring you insight and understanding. Something you couldn't have thought of, of your, on your own. Something you've never heard before. He said, I can't remember where it said. He said, call to me. You know, and I will show you awesome, amazing things that you have never known. So I would encourage anybody to do that. Get along with the Lord. All right, seek to know his voice, to hear from him. It's wonderful. And um, you know, rather than just speaking all the time and um, telling him about things that he already knows, let's begin to let him tell us things that we do not know. You know, get to know the love of God, get to know his voice, get to know who he is, you know, that we might be changed to be more like him. And that's one of the greatest things that I've learned, spending time along with him in his presence. You may not know that something's happening. You may not know that you're being changed, but 
and spending time with Him, it changes us. It softens us. So, I hope that can help somebody today. I love y'all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.